Hi guys, welcome. This is Windows. And uh, I've just downloaded the latest ISO. And I'm gonna make another tutorial. One, I'm gonna combine two things. I'm gonna uh, choose this file, that one first, and we boot up. We're gonna play around with uh, possibilities inside Calamars. Oh, wrong screen. Needs to come here. Remember, if you're in problems with booting up, you have two lines, right? So the first is the way to go, but if nothing shows up, the second one is the way to go. And you can even edit these things with an E or a tab. In Linux systems, you can edit whatever you're booting up, telling the kernel, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't load that, or load this and load that, right? So that's a little bit of Google work. You know, it's already documented on, yeah, Arch Linux. So two things in, in, in one go. I want to explain later on after reboot something else, uh, how to switch between a light DM and SDDM. So if you get this failed to load, failed to yeah, load, I think, light DM display manager, you can go over to SDDM and there are already videos about it, but it's, it's important these days because NVIDIA is not that stable. It seems last weeks or months maybe. Um, so, well, not gonna waste my time clicking all these things, but you can and you can install anything as long as you've got internet. It's gonna be downloaded, installed, so it's gonna take longer the installation. That's why I skip everything. And if you do this, the standard thing, this one, that one, that one, it's all X4. So let's combine something new. There is already lots of info on articlenext.com. So Internet, Vivaldi, choose one of your preferred um, browsers. There is Min, there is so many more, Tor browser, Brave, there is so much, so much, so much choices. Lego blocks to choose. Just wanted to show you the most important document for installing Arclinux is this. It contains over 30, maybe at this point in time already, over 40 videos, problem solving, stopping, starting Calamaris, working with four partitions, working with home, working with swap. It's all there, it's documented. Doesn't matter if it's an old one because it's still the same procedure. It's just follow the video and, and try out, right? But one of the things, control find BTRFS is not there. And it's just another partitioning system. So it shouldn't be necessary to have actually a video for it. It's just okay. So if you wanna really start from scratch, it seems there's already something on there right? New partition table. That's really from scratch. This is the old system and this is the new system. I've told VirtualBox that it's the old system. So I need to keep the setting and then I have free space. Now let's do something, right? So it's not a GPT, so I don't need to make anything small thing for boot or anything like it. I hear it immediately. You say what you want to have. Never try any like this one, never tried these guys out. But one of the names that keeps popping up is BTRFS. Click, encrypt or do not encrypt. Just takes longer to boot up because every time needs to, to decrypt it. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look back at it. Everything okay because I find this, ah, something happened here, good to know. I'll have to figure it out why that is. That's white for some reason. Like a pyjama. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Hmm. Alpha, didn't see that. It's all about uh, theming. We've changed some themes here and some coloring. And this is, uh, well, discovered it right now. So PTRFS, that's it. There are no nothing, nothing else to do here, but click and then rubbish, right? Rubbish in the sense that it's 
not a GPT. I decided not to do a GPT, so the information is not for me. There we go. I wonder, I'm recording this with a tool. I think I can pause it. So I'll see you later on. All right, it's finished. So restart now. Done. Let's boot in our BTRFS thing. Boot existing OS. So if you would have encrypted it, it asks a password. Can't find the password again. Can't log in. It takes a bit longer to update, uh, to, to start, because yeah, encryption, right? So we have a BTRFS and everything is on the home. Now there is one thing why you should, why you might consider this. And that's time shift. Still need to make a video about it, but in time sync we have this possibility to change between them, and that's basically why. And it's not that difficult to set up. So there's a setup wizard. Uh, so I'm not gonna go in there in that detail, but that might be a reason why you always think I want to have BTRFS. Well, here it is. The video is actually something about uh, something else in the sense that. Control G is working. <laughs> it always matters on what have we put on the ISO. And the bees, it's not there. Um, bees is minimal. The flagship XFC Openbox i3 has it all. Anything we want to have on our systems to work. So we have lots and lots of videos now on NVIDIA. We had already quite a bit but I have a few machines here that I could borrow. So now I have also NVIDIA programs, yay. And of course, then the videos come. How do you solve the problems? So the last one I've made, NVIDIA failed to open light display manager timing issue. So the nice, beautiful black screen thing failed to start the light display manager. One of this was the issue was the timing. So a kernel, and an NVIDIA packages are linked. You can't have a newer kernel and an old NVIDIA package or a new NVIDIA package and an old kernel. They both should have the correct version. That's all it was. Timing. Well, I see my AMAC complaining there, it's red. So go ahead, do your updates. Now, what I would um, do now is assume with you that I failed to start Light Display Manager. It's it's not working. So what you end in is either this one, fail to start Light Display Manager, or either a cursor that's blinking up there in the top left. And just imagine that's the case. And go with me through the steps to get SDDM. It's already there, but seeing the problems with NVIDIA, it's not a bad idea to have it um, again here. So there are two websites, check them both always. If it's not there, it's gonna be there. Switching between LightDM and SDM just became super easy starting from version this. Getting SDM and Plasma on Iconic D. I mean, I mean, there are many tutorials and um, why it's here maybe that's a question you might have because here everything every desktop is here and it's the d version but it's the desktop anything about head up sleuth is gonna be here and it's never gonna be here this is the flagship so xfc openbox i3 things are here but also general things. I mean, like like a music player, a video player, and it's anything applications like these design things. Well, they are for everything, for every desktop. Wallpapers are for every desktop. So they are here. And the things more specific to the desktop are here. Okay, so that's why SDDM is not on the other one. SDDM and Plasma 
KDE are linked. So it's explained in Plasma. It's all in the Plasma articles. But nevertheless, so you could, if indeed LightDM is failing, what is the solution again you can do? So let's uh, fake this with a control F3. I go to TTY in VirtualBox anyway. In real metal, you do control alt F2, F3, F4, something like that. Then you are here. Okay. And the thing you do is sudo system CTL. Well, first install SDM. That's the first thing. It's not yet installed. It is installed on Plasma. So the switch is there easier, but it makes sense to have it on Plasma. sudo pacman, uh, sorry, that's done already. sudo system ctl enable and then sdm. That's it. Minus F, that's important. You have to force it. The service is not needed if you just start typing, it's fine. But I use tap and it auto completes it. So sudo systemctl enable sddm force, please, because lightdm is there. So lightdm needs to be removed, that's the first line, and a symlink is created again to sddm. So display manager service, go look at sdm service. And otherwise, it would have been look to lightdm service. That's it, basically. Um, just reboot, and you'll find out that you have something quite ugly, but maybe you'll have back something graphical. So that's another approach thinking. Is it configurations? Is it um, LightDM itself? So we switch to SDM, so we know uh, it's working with SDM, so it's a LightDM issue. It's always analyzing, analyzing. That's the fun and sometimes the dreary part. Um, if you don't have the time to do it, you say, oh my God, oh, why is this happening, right? But that's Linux, things happen, and analyzing things, oh look, what an i3 is important. Maybe some quick, no, nothing quick. That's it, <laughs> that's it. All right, enjoy SDM. There is so much more I could tell. Cheers.